healed and feeling better than ever. Kim Whitley is here along with her plastic surgeon, Dr. Michael Nicoli. Welcome to you both. Woo! <laughs> look at you, ready to show off that new chin. And look, I love it. How are you, my dear? I'm good, I'm good. I'm feeling great. Y'all want to see it? Yeah. yeah. Y'all ready? Hold up. Don't be all excited and over here trying to get my number now. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Whoa! Wow! Wow! Wait, that's really, really great. That looks. It it was like 17 rolls, <laughs> and uh, I asked him if he could take some of the neck fat and put it in my butt. He said it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he told me that's not how you it works. You didn't have quite that much. <laughs> <laughs> and you're happy, but the pictures after that fall, that wasn't a joke. You went through a lot there. <laughs> well, she she got beat up. <laughs> I'm just. Oh, that, 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 those weren't lip injections gone awry. <laughs> no, 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 I got. Um, I had some uh, stitches, and I came down because of what's it called? You said a uh, keloid. Well, I worried about a keloid, but I just injected her with some Kenalog, and in the process of continuing that until it goes Looks down. Looks good. So. But I feel really great. You know, I can take pictures. I always took pictures, and we talked about that, except those uh, mug shots that you put up there. Um, <laughs> I always take pictures and I tuck my neck. Uh -huh. Every red carpet, I would tuck it. I'd always take pictures from up here. But now, I take, just take pictures. Any angle. Any angle, but neck and head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I understand, Kim, you actually have a question for the show. Oh, yes. So, uh, and Dr. Nicole, he said, he said, even though I fixed your neck and all this, he said, you still have to lose weight to make it even look better, of course. And that's been my big issue is I don't know how to stop sugar. It's like a drug, and, and I don't know how to do that. We obviously, in 30 seconds, can't tell you how to kick sugar, but we've been having this hashtag drop the sugar challenge mm -hmm. here at the show, and it was inspired by one of our producers, Justin, who he had a sugar addiction, he dropped the sugar, he's lost 40 some odd pounds, he's looking, feeling great, full of energy. In fact, we would like to invite you to be a part of this Drop the Sugar Challenge yes. as part of the new year. And if that's something you would love to do, we, we also are gonna hook you up with Dr. Melina Jampolis, who's a nutritionist, mm -hmm. to kind of help you drop the sugar. And with that, what we've seen are people are not only dropping the pounds, but energized, feeling better, there are so many secondary benefits to this hashtag drop the sugar challenge. What do you think? I, I, I can do it. What do you think? She is so cooperative from day one to today. I mean, everything you tell her, she does. Oh, that's precisely. great. You love following instructions? That's yes. Definitely. So, well, from her doctor. Good I didn't candidate. say from anybody else. That's so, true. Well, Dr. All right. Is from my if, doctor. if you're down to drop the sugar, we're going to do it with you. But I, I, okay, I'm going to do the sugar <laughs> chat, and I just want to thank Cosmetic Care. You, you guys were great. Thank you so much. I feel good. Look now, you're going to help me with this sugar there thing? There you go. I'm coming back. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Looking good, feeling it. good. Hey, great work, Dr. McCauley. And certainly, you can catch more of Kim on her show, 20s on BET, and pick up her new book, The Delusion of Cinderella, wherever books are sold.